What's going on YouTube? This is Fish Freak Phil giving you a long awaited update. I've been busy y'all. Uh, as you can see, bing! Your boy got married. So I was away for a couple of weeks or a week and a half or so. And even when I was here, I was not, you know, a little busy doing things to, uh, so I couldn't really shoot the videos I wanted to. But a lot has happened with the tank in terms of, uh, the tanks in terms of like allergy. And as you can see, sitting in front of me, I have the Innovative Marine. This is the Mini Max Nano Reactor. Now this is the, the desktop size. This is the smallest one. Um, it's actually larger than what I thought it was going to be. Like I was expecting something this size. And then this is the inner chamber. This is the outer chamber, outer chamber, which is comes up to about 12 inches high. Uh, I think two and a half inches in diameter, something like that. Um, but the plan is to run Fosgard in this one. Now my Aquatop Nano Reactor, uh, Aquatop Media Reactor, excuse me was basically too large for the amount of Fosgard I was using. And basically I was wasting a lot of space. Um, so there's another, another plan for that. Um, I'll let you know what that is in a minute. Um, a couple things to note on the, these media reactors, at least this one. I haven't used the other ones, haven't touched them, so I couldn't talk to you about them. Um, these little sponges that go inside here are tough to negotiate Oh, excuse me. They go inside here. A little bit tough to negotiate because they fit really tightly. But if you have something like this, it makes easy work of that. So um, the plan is to, I'm going to be using, I think, uh, I just end up using one of these sponges. I don't know if I'll use both of them. But I'm going to also use, because I'm using Fosgard. And as you can see, the Fosgard parts are a bit on a small side, a bit on a small side, so I think they will get into the padding, I mean, to the sponge a little bit. So what I'm planning to do, instead of doing that, I'm going to be using filter floss at the bottom. And uh, I might just use a pad, one of these pads and some filter floss on top of it, followed by some filter floss on the top and maybe two pads just to make sure nothing gets out of the um, of the media reactor itself into the, my water column. A um, couple things to note. Uh, other than that, uh, this is a this is tightly fit at the top. Um, inside the where the, the the chamber where the media goes in, it's a little peg in here, um, and there's a slot inside the outer chamber that it goes into. Just something you want to just be aware of if you're, uh, when you're putting your media, uh, media in and putting the chamber back into place. Um, the pump has a switch for flow on the side. Um, so that's going to, so I'm going to put, wash this all out, put this together. And for my Aquatop MIDI reactor. See, this is significantly larger um, than, and I wasn't going to be using that much uh, guard. So I'm actually, I was contemplating going with Matrix, but I decided to go de to denitrate. And instead of putting the Matrix in here, um, I'm going to be using this and see if I can, and running the water through here ultra slow. The difference between the two of these is they're literally, this is a lot smaller. If you've ever seen Pi Matrix or your Zika Matrix, it's basically larger than this. Um, and the other difference is this works in flow uh, you want to use this in flow, then uh, that's less than 50 gallons per hour. And matrix in flow higher than 50 gallons per hour. 
and those are the main differences from what I've read from the um, C CCHEM's uh, website is basically the flow difference. Um, so if you want really ultra, you have ultra low flow, um, less than 50 gallons per hour, this is what you want to use. Um, and if you're having a, if you have quite more, you have a little bit more flow, then you want to probably move to the uh, matrix um, and use that stuff. I actually am going to be using both. I have made bags of matrix in my back sump area that, uh, that I'm going to be using. The reason why um, I'm doing this is I cannot get my nutrients under control. Look at this. It's crazy, huh? It's just, and I and I have to. I don't. I do not have a TDS meter to check the water that I've been getting from my LFS. Um, I, being a newbie, I'm not quick to point fingers elsewhere. I always point at myself and and think, well, it's something I'm doing, something I'm probably uh, something I've done or not doing or am doing or doing wrong. Um, Someone did mention it in my previous post to check my water. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is grab some of this water and bring it in and have them check it. And not tell them what the source is and let them see, what, tell them what, uh, what it is. But aside of that, the corals are looking pretty dope. But all this algae, it looks kind of looks kind of cool and ugly at the same time. Um, but I'm trying to get rid of it. I'm like right now, it's like, look at that. It's, it's, it's growing on top of that coral right there. I can't be having that, so it's gotta go. Um, I just did a water change. Uh, and so I'm gonna be doing what I can to, uh, sorry about the glare. Um, doing what I can to uh, get these, uh, get all this algae under control and get my, um, get my levels back down so where I'm not growing in algae and you know, I don't have a field of algae here. Now this is what's happening with the uh, cobalt aquatics CB40. Let me show you what's happening with the Fuvo Evo 13.5 and it's looking pretty dope. Looking pretty dope. Um, as you can see, oh I added a Added someone there, right? Look at that. Coming out to the. Come on up. Yeah, add a little chromus, blue green chromus in there. Give a little bit more movement in the tank. Um, now, that pump in the back there, that's gotta go. That, those the spin nozzles just get, get encrusted. I have two of them and I've been trying to go between the two. I think I have, I finally came up with a solution for uh, what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm kind of basically going to go to another pump that I have, um, one of these uh, pump systems that I have up in here, the currents, because it's, I like the size and I can dial down the, um, the power on there. So, and it's actually, I did, took some measurements, it's actually going to take up less space than what I have my current setup. So, um, yeah, just uh, I redosed uh, this tank with reflux. I didn't think I was gonna have to, but uh, being it's uh, you're not supposed to overdose with the reflux. Um, but I I didn't do it. I didn't overdose, and I once again I dosed it for only ten, as if it was a ten gallon tank. And I'm gonna do uh, it's about it's gonna be about ten days. Uh, actually today so we'll be doing a water change um, I'm not gonna let it run for uh, farther than that basically rely on doing water changes once a week and uh, and seeing what it can do in terms of my nutrient nutrient control keeping things down um, it's actually looking pretty good uh, I actually it's looking actually really good right now um, are also looking beautiful. Gotta zoom in on that. No. Yeah. Okay. Maybe another another video for that. But uh, yeah, 
um, this uh, battling, battling. Oh, so I had an addition here. That little yellow guy is called a candy cane hogfish. He's only in the tank. Uh, it's been a few days. You can see my clown is. I think I'm about to feed him right now, so he's getting super aggressive, especially with the new guy. Um, and I also have a tail spot plenty in there. Ironically, I thought he was going to be picked on. Didn't, they they tried, and he held his own. Like he was, he didn't back down. It's like you guys are not messing with me. And uh, the hogfish went and hid for for a day or two, and then came out. But uh, yeah, the tail spot, tail spot. They're supposed to be peaceful fish and they generally are but man you will see some uh, and I guess this is with all fish you will see some aggressive behavior and like I seen them chasing my uh, I seen him, like uh, this little damsel try to come after him and he was like he was not having it and he surprised the damsel too thinking they was gonna tell, turn tail and run and when he opened his mouth he's like oh I did not want any of that and he just took off so but anyway this is Fish Week Phil Go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button and come with me on this journey. And hit that like button if you want, and we'll keep it going. You guys, have any uh, questions or any uh, any information you want to pass on to me or like any tips? Let me know. Man, look at this. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? Those Duncans are looking wild. I love Duncan corals. Look, at, look how beautiful that looks. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Anyway, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. This is Fish Week Phil. We need an update on the tanks. Do your research, try things out, and see what happens. Later, y'all.